Hi, I'm Paige Steers, and I am here with Mark Oranger of Jones Lang LaSalle. And Jones Lang LaSalle just conducted a survey in partnership with the Ethisphere Institute to look at productivity and how that might affect ethical environment and actions at work. So, Mark, what are the benefits of a company that we found in the survey when they're really looking at employing an open office layout? Well, it's interesting. The uh, research that we did with Ethisphere showed that 80% of the people who responded said that their um, open office plans promote ethical behavior. And intuitively, that's what you would expect, because when people are working out in the open, it's harder for them to watch inappropriate uh, it, uh, content on the internet. Um, sexual harassment cases, you would think intuitively would go down, disrespecting your colleagues, telling offensive jokes, uh, and so forth. And today, companies more than ever are very much uh, interested in doing everything they can to promote where they should be and promoting an ethical culture and we found this is one of the ways that they can do so. so. That's a really interesting tie. So if you're more open, there's just more to be seen, heard, and you noticed, right? So when you're thinking about a company, what do they need to think about when employing some of these strategies and going to an open layout? I think they have to make sure they're sending the right message. Um, because some people might think if you're going to an open layout, the point is to sort of have Big Brother watching you all the time. And I think that's not uh, what a company wants to say. I think they should say, by having an open layout, we're reminding ourselves we're here to work for the company and the shareholders. Um, this is going to make us more productive. It's going to increase knowledge sharing, transparency, and also the general collaborative environment. And in an open office space, we need to think about treating each other with respect um, and because uh, we're sort of one larger community. And I think um, if the uh, senior management uh, eats its own cooking in this regard and uh, has the same kind of layout for themselves, so it's not an us-them situation where they've got palatial offices and everybody else um, you know, is sitting in uh, cubicles, that's the kind of thing that can really help and send the right message about why they're doing it. So you talked about the role senior management plays, which is an important one, to have it from the top down. But this is also more than just the right office environment productivity. It does impact the bottom line. Absolutely. I mean, I think we found here uh, when, when uh, uh, people are out behaving well, it's going to cut down on human resources issues, potentially class action lawsuits, other kind of um, litigation, uh, fraud, and so forth. So we really see it as a... Um, you know, a protector of the bottom line in a very important way. And when we, you know, as we do as a business, when we promote open office space to our clients, uh, you know, in the past we've always talked about, um, you know, cutting down the, the costs of, you know, how much office space you have to have if you don't have offices. Um, uh, it helps the environment. Uh, you use less energy. And this is one of the additional thing, reasons to do it is that it can really promote your ethical culture. Okay, so there's a multitude of reasons that are really bringing this kind of open environment layout really into the forefront of businesses. Thanks for sharing with us, Mark. If you want to see the full report, you can go to Jones Lang LaSalle's website or see it on the Ethics Fair Institute website as well. Thanks. Mm -hmm.